Hey kids, it's Shane here with Knox Handmade Toys and today Jessica and I are going to be putting together train cars. Uh, we've got several different varieties we're going to be doing. This one right here is going to get, this will turn into a hauler, what we call a hauler car. You'll be able to put a car or an airplane on the back of that. There's a blank of a car and the blank of an airplane and they're going to sit on there just like that. There'll be a couple of pegs right here to hold them in. But what we're working on right now is we're going to put wheels on a whole lot of these we just call them train bases. They gotta have wheels on them and they're gonna end up looking like this. And then from there, some with the holes in the top are gonna get the little pegs like we talked about. And then some of them, like this one with no holes in the top, they're gonna get a top piece of some kind. This particular one's gonna get these and there'll be barrels in this one. So the finished product will look like that right there. And then it will have barrels of some kind in the back of it. So today, what we're working on right now is putting wheels on these blanks so that we can assemble them together and turn them into finished cars. First thing we need to do for that is we need to have axles. What I have here are a hundred quarter inch dowels and I'm going to pull out 50 of those. Let's uh oh. All right, so I'm going to pull out about 50 of them to make it easier to work with. And if I was to say, well, that looks like exactly 50. Maybe, actually, there. Now we've got 50 of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some regular painter's tape. I happen to have a roll of it right here. I'm going to tape this up into a cylinder. And then we're going to cut pieces off of that because we're going to have axles that are just the right length. It's going to be just like this right here, but we need a lot more than just these. So what we're going to do first, is I'm going to get these. I want to bunch them nice and tight there. So I'm just going to put a little piece of tape right on the top. And lay them like that. Exactly 50 dowels, you saw me count them. All taped up nice in a big cylinder. And we're going to take those over to the bandsaw. And what we're going to do over here is cut them. So, what we've done, I set up a fence just a few minutes ago, and I made it the exact width that I need those axles to be. So, all I'm going to do is cut that on. I'm just going to push these through there. Now, guys, listen. This is for entertainment purposes only. I am not giving anybody instructions on how to use power tools or whether or not to use safety equipment or what safety equipment to use. I'm sure goggles are probably recommended. Uh, so once again, this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, if you're gonna take up woodworking, do yourself and everybody else you love a favor and take a couple of classes on how to properly use power tools. So with that having been said, let's cut some axles. I don't know if you can hear me over this saw blade, but I'm going to use a push stick with my left hand and guide with my right so that my fingers aren't getting anywhere close to that blade. As you can see that right there, that's the same kind of saw they use in a butcher shop. It's going to cut a cow and have to cut me, so I'm going to keep my fingers well away from it. away from the front of the blade and reaching around the back of the blade as carefully as I can and I'm going to push this one out of the way reach back around there because I kind of like my fingers. Okay, so what we got here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, we've got 12 bundles of axles and each of those have 50 axles in it. So that's 600 axles. 
we need two axles for the car, so we need, we've got enough here for 300 cars. Uh, there's about 200 more of them over there, so we probably have enough for about 400 cars right here. That's more than we're going to put together today, so we'll take them over to the bench, and we're going to get started. All right, so we are going to take our glue. Uh, we use the Gorilla brand wood glue, non-toxic wood glue, and we have a little cheat thing that we have have here we just put our glue a little bit in these holes kind of looks like honeycomb we'll start with just two and then the ax axles i have the hiccups excuse me the axles that shane cut for us earlier we're just going to run it off this tape And then I have this big bin of wheels. We're going to go through several of them today. And what we're going to do is first we have to put the axle on the wheel. Then we'll put the axle with the wheel on it through the base and then pop the second wheel on. So this means I'm just going to do a few of them right now. Just going to do this one. So four wheels for one car and two axles. A little bit of glue on a toothpick and just a little bit of glue on the inside of the wheel. I need the hammer. Thank you, Shane. A little tap. Nice tight fit. Then it's important, run this through these holes. A little bit of glue on the inside of the wheel. And then tap it on. And there we have it. Now our bases are ready for whatever top that we may make this train car out of. And now let's make a whole bunch of them. I'll tell you what, let's make one more right quick. Oh, the hauler car? Yeah, put one of those hauler cars together just so we can see what it looks like in the station. So you're going to notice a theme in, in uh, today's demonstration. Toothpick and glue in every single hole. This helps the bond even though these fit pretty tightly into the holes um, just keeps it a better bond so we're going to run a little bit of glue down inside of the hole that shane drilled earlier tap it down in and it's important that we do the hauler cars we do the pegs on top before we do the wheels because with the wheels on there it makes it it's not quite as stable so now i can do the wheels i'm going to go ahead and glue all four this time That one flipped over. In through our axle hole. And then our second wheel. There we go. Now this hauler car is complete, and we're going to make a whole bunch of them. This one is not quite wide enough to fit one of our pickup trucks. Because pickup truck really they're handmade toys, and they're not all exactly the same length. But this car will fit on without sliding off. And this airplane, with the pre-drill hole here, will stay on without falling off.
because you don't want to lose your crop duster behind your tractor while you're pulling it across somewhere. So you guys ready? Here we go. So we thought we'd speed things up for you guys because this can be kind of a long, tedious process. We spent several hours doing this on this day. So what I'm doing here is I'm applying glue to the inside of the wheel um, from the back side and putting the axle in and skipping forward. Now that the axles are put together, now I need to put them in the train bases, flip them over, and then you'll see me pound on some more wheels here in a minute. This is just a slowed down process so that you can kind of see real time, the time that it takes us to put each piece together. Um, on the left you see Shane has got some finished wheels or, or some tr finished bases. Um, and you see the holes in the top there, so he's going to turn those into hauler cars. Uh, he's going to put those pegs in before I put the wheels in, just because it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, we don't have to, we won't break the wheels when I go to put those in. So that is what Shane is about to start working on, and we're going to speed things back up here in just a moment. All right, here we go. So now you can see Shane on the left is putting the pegs in for the hauler cars, and I am just one train base at a time, putting some wheels on, setting them to the side. Uh, and then uh, here we've got Shane putting on some glue to the base, and you're gonna see him, he's gonna spread that glue out across the top of the base just to ensure that all of the glue reaches the top that he's about to put on. You can see those under his hand there. Spreading it out like that across the top of the base also helps it get a little bit tacky. Uh, spreads the glue out so more air gets to it and, and makes it where it's not quite as wet when he goes to put the train base on. So we cleaned up around the edges, and now we're gonna go ahead and put those tops on. So you'll notice he leaves the top on the table, and then we pick up the base and make sure that we can line it up because the top is wider than the base, so we can make sure that they're as centered as possible. Now they're handmade toys. Not all of them are gonna be completely perfect, but this is how we ensure that they stay as close to lined up center as possible. And he's using his finger there on the front where the pin is sticking out just to make sure that we are all the way to the front of the train base as he presses down. Uh, he's also checking from the bottom side to make sure that no glue is seeping out around the edges. Um, if he does find glue that seeps out around the edge, then he's going to take a razor blade and he'll just clean out anything that may have come out around the base and the top. We had a total of about 250 train cars that we worked on this day, and we're so glad that you guys got to hang out with us and learn about how we make our natural wood handmade toys. Um, it's super fun. We have our train cars here that we made today, just a completed example so you could see the finished product, our barrel cars and our hauler cars here with the airplane. And we'd love for you guys to come hang out with us. Find us on our website, knoxhandmadetoys.com for a complete calendar.